Transcription is the process where DNA is copied and transcribed into mRNA. Translation, however, is when the mRNA formed in transcription is used to direct protein synthesis. In this example, two strands of DNA are shown with the ultimate product of transcription and translation being a 5-amino acid protein. In order for this to happen, first transcription must run from right to left and always 5' prime to 3'. Prime. From there, we can determine the bottom strand as the coding sequence since it matches the 5' prime and 3' prime ends of transcription. This makes the top strand the template sequence. Once the coding sequence is identified, the next step is to transcribe the mRNA by turning all the thymines into uracil. This creates our mRNA sequence in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction, which needs to be flipped to the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. From there, the mRNA sequence is analyzed for the starting codon AUG and its remaining codons are translated into amino acids. Once a stop codon is presented, the amino acid sequence ends. Mutations are a change in genetic material. Point mutations result in the substitution of one base for another. Transition involves the substitution of a purine to purine or pyrimidine to pyrimidine. Transversions, however, the exchange of purine to pyrimidine or vice versa. Four examples of point mutations are missense, nonsense, silent, and read-through. Missense mutations result in a change in amino acid. Nonsense mutations change into a stop codon. Silent mutations code for the same amino acid. And read-through mutations change a stop codon to an amino acid. Let's assume for this example that the amino acid sequence encodes for protein A1. This is also a code for some molecular structures I will demonstrate later. As you can see in the missense mutation, the highlighted base substitution changed an amino acid from valine to leucine. This mutation could result in a less effective A1 protein or a non-functional protein. This mutation would be a transversion since guanine is a purine and cytosine is a pyrimidine. Next is a silent mutation where both codons will still encode for arginine. This will maintain the functional A1 protein as seen in the original sequence. This mutation would also be a transition since both guanine and adenine are purines. A nonsense mutation will code for a stop codon. That will either shorten the A1 protein or make it non-functional. This mutation would be a transversion of a purine to a pyrimidine. Lastly is the read-through mutation, where the stop codon is changed to tyrosine. This would create a longer A1 protein produced from the amino acids. Once again, this would be a transversion since the base changes from a purine to a pyrimidine.